it might happen more often than you think. So we get all kinds of donations here at Goodwill. We get, um, we see credit cards, we see passports, birth certificates, social security cards. Sensitive documents, often with personal information, accidentally left in donations dropped off at places like this Goodwill store. Right, things that you wouldn't want out there, um, and they end up they end up with us um, a lot of cases. So we see things um, tucked inside bed sheets, tucked inside books, uh, little boxes. Oftentimes we think that people just forgot about it. They didn't know that it was in that item, or perhaps they're donating something uh, on behalf of a family member who passed away. Um, we see that a lot, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Different Goodwill locations have different policies, but Travis Carlson with Goodwill of Denver says at their locations... So this is our loss prevention box. They keep sensitive information locked away in an office. Credit cards, um, driver's licenses, certificates, checks, things like that. But experts say you shouldn't rely on the place you take used items to to safely dispose of personal information. And in fact, it could be putting you at serious risk. Folks just need to be very wary. Colorado's attorney general runs a consumer fraud unit. She says all someone needs is a small piece of information. Once they have that, they can usually find more. And they can use that info to impersonate you and get a loan, even use it to obtain costly medical services. And I don't like to scare people, but I do want them to be very self-conscious about keeping that personal information um, confidential. Bottom line from the team at Goodwill? Before you donate something, go through it all and just make sure that what you're donating is, is what you want to donate. I'm Chris Welch reporting.